The Lumina Quest starts today, and it is the weekly reset, so we're gonna go over everything that's available for this week, and we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the Lumina Quest actually starts today, and I will show you guys a location on where to actually start to get this, but it is also the weekly reset. So, before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the new Destiny 2, uh, actually Destiny 2 Shadow Keep giveaway, it is for July 2019, then go ahead and sub to the channel, turn on notifications, follow me on Twitter, and let me know what types of videos you want to see on the channel. I will let you guys know who the winner of the June 2019 Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway is in the next video, but let's go ahead and start with the weekly reset. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the Traveler first. We need to do 20 bounties for Ikora. Earn 5,000 clan XP. Locate and open chests. As well as forge two weapon frames in the forges. Coming down to the Vanguard. We need to complete three daily story missions. As well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Arc Singe, Blackout, as well as Grenadier. And then we need to complete a Nightfall, as well as a Nightfall with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are Strange Train, The Hollow Lair, and Savathun's Song. Coming down to Gambit. We need to earn progression all the way up to 100. And our modifiers this week are Arc Singe, Blackout, as well as Heavyweight. Coming down to Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches as well as complete four Gambit Prime matches. And, nope, oh, good here. Coming to the Crucible, the Crucible game mode of the week is Breakthrough, and we need to complete five Crucible matches, and we can do that in any game mode except for the private match. Coming to the Tangle Shore, we have the Flashpoint, which you need to complete uh, public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. As well as the Heroic Adventure, The Rider. Coming to the Dreaming City. Petra's Revenge is located at the Strand, and we need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So let's see what Tess Everest has for us at the Eververse this week. Oh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and turn that in. So, as for the main page, we do have uh, this wonderful emote called Consult the Archives. Pretty cool emote. Then we actually have the Lucid Melody, which is the ornament for the Lumina. And like I said, I will show you guys where to go ahead and start that quest. Then we have the Ultraviolet ornament, and this is for the Borealis. And this ornament actually looks pretty badass. I definitely like it better than the original look. Then we have an Arc Shell for Ghost, Chalice Projection, and then uh, Best of Year 1 Engrams. Coming down here for Bright Dust, we have your uh, Fire Team Medallion, as well as your two booms. Then the Shader. Looks pretty decent. Then we have uh, this wonderful ornament for the Taraba. Hope I said that right. Then we have the Curse of Foresight for... Uh, whoops. My bad. Then we have the Curse of Foresight uh, Speeder. Or whatever you want to call it. Speeder, vehicle, it's cool. And last but not least, we have the Crescent Shell. Coming down here, Seasonal Offerings. Uh, actually, this, uh, I think this changes. Possibly not. Coming down further, we have the Archive. And then last but not least, we have Bright Dust Items. We have the Giggity Laugh. I said Giggity, but it's okay. It's Giddy. 
Then we have the uh, wonderful looking ship here. Um, yeah, it's... No, don't get that. This week, we have the Intrepid Discovery uh, Strides for all classes. This is what it looks like for the Hunter. Then we have the uh, Caduceus, which is the ornament for the Ophidian Aspect. I hope that's Caduceus. Or Caduceus. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's okay. It actually looks pretty cool, so go ahead and buy it. Then we have the Salt the Field ornament for the Pillager. That actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, then we have the Intrepid Exploit Mark. So this is... Uh, Okay, Mark. Not a fan of it at all. Looks kind of weird. And last but not least, we have your Viper Projection. It's a badass ghost. Coming down here, we have your Fighting Medallion, your two boons. Then we have First Light Shader. And that's what it looks like. Then we have the Eldritch Effects. Okay. Then we have Celestial Dome. As well as Reef Oracle. And then coming down here, we have all of the bounties for the week. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. So, in order to actually start the Lumina Quest, you need to go to the EDZ and head your way to Trostland. So, as soon as you land, you want to go ahead and get on your Sparrow. So, if you guys don't remember, this is the same area where we actually went to to start the Thorn mission. And this little fireplace is obviously where you actually start the Thorn mission. But, for the Lumina mission, you get it from this chest. And the quest step is a fateful gift. And I totally forgot that they're in the pursuits. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon. And I will see you guys in the next video.